Distinguished future physicians, welcome to Stomp on Step 1, the only free video series that helps you study more efficiently by focusing on the highest yield material. In this video, we will be covering the water-soluble vitamin deficiencies other than folate and B12, which already got their own video previously. I just couldn't fit all of it into one video without it getting too long, so I split folate and B12 into their own video. Is the fourth and final video in the vitamins section, so I hope you check out the rest of these if you haven't done so already. We'll get started with thiamine, which you can see here at the top right corner. I give a high yield rating of four. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's a rating scale from zero to ten that gives you a rough estimate for how important each topic is for the step one exam. And if you want to learn how the high yield rating is calculated, you can head here to my website. Thiamine is found in many foods, and deficiencies are primarily seen in alcoholics and people who are malnourished because it's found in so many different foods. You really can only have a thiamine deficiency if you're not eating much food or you're getting most of your calories from alcohol. This scenario with an alcoholic patient having thiamine deficiency is so common on step one that anytime you see alcoholism in a question stem in a vitamin question, your first thought should be thiamine deficiency. Thiamine is an important cofactor in multiple processes that generate ATP from glucose sugar. Therefore, deficiencies of thiamine are worsened by sugar intake because the little bit of thiamine that's left in these patients' system is used to metabolize the sugar you just gave them. This will present in questions where a patient with thiamine deficiency gets worse when they're given food or given glucose. Deficiencies of thiamine primarily affect three different systems. It'll be the CNS, which is Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome, the peripheral nervous system, which is going to be dry beriberi, and the cardiac system, which is going to be wet beriberi. Damage done to the cardiac system and the peripheral nervous system can be reversed with treatment, but damage to the central nervous system is permanent. Dry beriberi causes muscle wasting, weakness, and diminished peripheral sensation. Wet beriberi leads to arrhythmias and or heart failure by affecting the electrical system of the heart. It causes edema, shortness of breath, increased cardiac output, and cardiac dilation. Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is probably the most important effect of thiamine deficiency. It shows up a ton on step one questions. It is a collection of central nervous system damage that results from thiamine deficiency. It can include amnesia or memory loss, confusion, ataxia or unsteady gait, and visual disturbances due to uncoordinated eye movement. The confusion and memory loss can also lead to confabulation, in which the patient has bizarre explanations for things like how they got injured or how they got to the hospital. Wernicke-Korsakoff characteristically affects the mammillary bodies and the surrounding structures, such as the third and fourth ventricle and the aqueduct. Infarcts or hemorrhages in these areas can be seen on radiologic imaging. Now we'll move on to niacin or vitamin B3 and it is part of NAD, which carry electrons in redox reactions. Vitamin B3 is made from tryptophan using a vitamin B6 cofactor. Therefore, niacin deficiency can be the result of vitamin B6 deficiency or tryptophan deficiency. Examples of that would be things like heart and disease and carcinoid syndrome. Niacin is one way to treat high cholesterol, and anytime you have a treatment, toxicities are something you need to take into consideration. Niacin toxicity can result if patient receives too high a dose of that cholesterol drug, and the most common side effect of that is going to be facial flushing, which is a red face with a sense of warmth. Niacin deficiency, or vitamin B3 deficiency, is characterized by the four Ds, and it's called pellagra. The four Ds are diarrhea, dementia, dermatitis, or skin problems, and death. Pyridoxine, or vitamin B6, is an essential coenzyme in many metabolic reactions. Deficiencies of vitamin B6 can lead to peripheral neuropathy, which would present as numbness or tingling, seizures, anemia, irritability, 
and it can cause niacin deficiency because vitamin B6 is a cofactor in the creation of niacin. The most common cause of vitamin B6 deficiency is isoniazide treatment for TB. Therefore, patients receiving this drug are often given B6 vitamin prophylactically. Ascorbic acid, or vitamin C, is found in a lot of fruit and other fresh foods. It is necessary for hydroxylation of certain amino acids and collagen that are very important in the cross-linking of individual pro-collagen chains in the collagen triple helix. Without this hydroxylation, the collagen is very weak, and a lot of structures made up of collagen can be easily damaged which can lead to poor wound healing, a lot of problems with the gums, such as pain, bleeding of the gums, loose or missing teeth, and you can also have easy bruising, which will present as purpura, ecchymosis, and perifollicular hemorrhages. It's important not to get vitamin C confused with vitamin K, because they both can present with bruising, but usually they'll give you enough other hints to make sure you don't get too confused. In the biochem section, I covered different collagen diseases like osteogenesis imperfecta. You can go back and review that because vitamin C is somewhat related to those because it really is a problem with collagen. Here are a list of related topics I chose not to cover in my videos because they are pretty low yield. I would suggest only studying these topics after you've learned all the higher yield material. That brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it and you want me to make more, please like my videos on YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I won't bore you with the details about search engine optimization or social proof, but just know that even though it only takes you a couple seconds to do those things, it really helps me out a lot.